everyone, I'm Ava and welcome back to Delightful Dolls. Today I'm doing yet another custom doll makeover and I'm super excited. The doll that I give a makeover to, I will be giving away to one of you guys. So this is to thank you all for 100,000 subscribers. It's just crazy that we made it this far and I'm so thankful. Anyways, let's get right on into the doll makeover. So first things first, I ordered a doll off Amazon specifically for this makeover. This is the yellow top made to move Barbie. The uh, box is very damaged. I don't know why I have such bad luck with Barbie doll boxes um, in shipping, but uh, yeah, like the whole bottom is like gone. It, but yeah, that doesn't really matter though because we are just gonna be taking her out of the packaging anyways. So let's just go ahead and do that right now. Here's the doll out of the packaging, and she is super cute already. She is a made-to-move body, so she has tons of articulation. So what I always start off first with is the hair. So basically, the first thing we have to do is cut off all of her hair. So let's just go ahead and snip this right off. <laughs> there we go. Oh my goodness, so now she has this crazy hair and I'm basically just gonna trim it all down as short as I can. So basically what I do is I have a glass of boiling hot water and I'm basically just gonna dip the doll's head inside of the glass and let it sit there for a little bit just to soften everything up. Then I take that out and it should be a little bit softer now. And I'm basically just gonna carefully remove her head without ruining the neck pig. There you have it. So now what I do is take the head and some needle nose pliers and I'm basically just going to scrape on the scope where all the hair plugs are and pull them out. One down, several more to go. And here's the head with all of the hair plugs taken out. And even though that did take some time, I will admit it was very satisfying. And now because I am pretty sure I want this doll to have this nice blue hair, that I got from an Etsy store called Retro Dolls UK. But because I am using that very nice blue color, I take some blue acrylic paint and I paint that on the scalp of the doll. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm using this really pretty blue hair color. Now, this is definitely way too long, so I'm going to cut this long piece into quarters before I actually get started. So basically, how I do this is, of course, I have my rerouting tool, which, again, I got from the same Etsy shop. And I basically take a very small piece of hair and fold it in half so the ends match up. And then I basically grab the hair with my rerouting tool. And then basically I just poke that into one of the plugs. And I don't use very much hair for each plug because that can cause scalp splits. I just start by going all the way around the edge of the doll's hairline. Now that I have the whole outer hairline filled in, I'm going to start filling in the rest of the hair. Now what's left is the hairline and what I do is basically just carefully plug in the hair. And then I take that piece and separate it in half. So half goes one way on the head and the other half goes the other way so that it makes a nice hairline effect. And I'm just going to continue that down the rest of the hairline. 
And now because I want the hair to stay on the right side, I'm just gonna tie your hair together in a ponytail so that the hair will stay in place. So basically our next step, and by the way, just ignore this band-aid that I just put on. Yeah, just ignore that. But basically our next step now is to use some fabric cat glue. And I'm just gonna be putting that all inside of her head so that all of the hair stays in place. And then I'm personally gonna go let that dry overnight. So it is now the next day and I apologize that my nails aren't done at the moment. But anyways, her hair is all dry and it seems like it's gonna stay in place. So basically what we need to do now is just put her head back on her body. <laughs> that sounds a little odd. So this is how the doll is looking, but to be honest, at this stage, I'm not exactly sure what I should do next. Of course, I could just come up with an idea, but I thought, why not ask you guys for some help or some suggestions for what to do next on this doll? Because after all, she is going to be going to one of you in the end. So I'm just going to go make a post on my community tab and see what kind of suggestions you guys have for what I should do with her next. So I'm back. It has been a few hours now and I have my nails done once again. You guys gave me a whole bunch of suggestions for the doll and that just means so much to me. Thank you so much for all your suggestions. I know I won't be able to use all of them obviously, but it definitely gave me a much better idea of what you guys want to see overall. So that means that we're going to go and continue with the hair. I have a glass of boiling hot water once again. And I just want to dip her hair into there so that her part stays in place. And then I'm just going to give it a nice brush through with this mini brush. Now what I'm going to do next is give her hair a bit of a trim. It seemed most of you wanted it to stay long, but it's kind of scraggly at the end. So I'm just going to give it a little trim. So what I'm going to actually start off by doing is separating her hair into three pieces and tying those pieces at about the length that I'm gonna cut it at. And then I'm just gonna cut a little bit above the elastics. So now her hair is all one nice length. You guys seem to really want some sort of curly wavy hairstyle. Basically what I do is I take a little like worms of tinfoil. That sounds really weird. But basically I just folded tinfoil to make long pieces like this. And I did see this in a video on YouTube. I don't remember who made it. It was such a long time ago, but I'm not taking the credit for this idea. But basically I take a piece of doll hair, wrap it around the tinfoil piece. And then at the end, I fold up this end piece and kind of twist it around so it keeps everything in place. And I do the same with the piece at the top. I have yet again some boiling hot water and I'm basically just gonna dip her head with the tin foil pieces on into the water. And I'm just gonna let that sit there for a little bit. I remove her from the water and kind of just pat dry her hair and just squeeze a little bit to get the excess water off. And then I just let that dry for a few moments and then I'm just basically going to take out the foils. And after the hair is dry, I'm just going to carefully separate the curls to give them more of a natural look. And I literally think her hair is gorgeous. I love the curls. Now for her hairstyle, I noticed personally that there were lots of requests for a half up, half down hairstyle. So I think I'm gonna give her a little half up, half down ponytail. So this ponytail does not wanna lie flat down on her head. And I don't like the fact that you can see the elastic clearly. So I actually think I'm going to turn this into a bun. And I think that'll suit her hair a little bit better. And now that I think the hair is pretty much done, 
I think we're gonna move on to the facial features. So if you don't already know how I do this, for the facial features, I usually just use acrylic paint mixed with matte Mod Podge and it basically seals in the color pretty well and that's just what I personally do. For the eyes on the doll, you guys actually seem to mainly like the idea of having blue eyes. I take that color and paint that in her irises. Just take a darker shade of that color and then put that around the area we just painted. I take some black to fill back in the pupil. And then I'm using a little bit of white to make a small shine in the eyes. Now I take some brown that is similar to her eyebrow color and I'm just gonna add little eyebrow hairs. I usually just do this to make them look more realistic. And then I use that same color to give her little freckles cause lots of you wanted me to give her some freckles. I also add a little bit of that same brown in her nostrils just to darken them a little bit. And now using 100% acetone and a Q-tip, I remove her lipstick. And then for the lips, everyone seemed to want either more of a natural kind of lip or a pinkish lip. So I kind of made a color right in between that I'm just gonna put on her lips. And I also added the teeth back on off camera. Now to give the doll some blush, I'm using some soft chalk pastels and I scrape off some red chalk and a lighter pinkish color. And then I just use a cotton swab and kind of mix those colors together. I just grab a little bit of that color and I basically just put that onto her cheeks where blush would go. To give her some nice soft blush, it's kind of hard to see in camera, but she definitely has a nice pinkish color to her cheeks now, and I think it looks really cute. As for her nails, it seemed lots to be like the idea of having blue nails. So with that same Mod Podge and acrylic paint mixture, I'm just going to paint on some blue nail polish. And I did both of her hands. Next, what I want to do is pierce her ears. Now, I got a very wide range of suggestions for the earrings, but I definitely noticed that lots of you like the idea for having hoop earrings. If you don't know how I already do this, I just take a little thumbtack and poke it right in where I want the earring to go. And then I wiggle it around a little bit. And then I quickly take it out and insert the new earring. I just repeat that process on the other ear to give her some nice hoops and I think that actually looks really cute with her hair. So I'm loving how she's looking so far and now I think it's time to give her a new outfit because this neon yellow top is getting real old real quick. Oh my gosh, yes. She looks much better in her new outfit. So basically, you guys suggested lots of different ideas for the outfit, but it seemed like a repeated pattern of kind of like cozy clothing. And specifically, you guys asked for oversized hoodies or t-shirts. So I sewed her this adorable pink oversized hoodie. And then lots of you also mentioned black leggings. So I just kept the leggings that she originally comes with. It does have a real hood. I'm not gonna put it up right now though, because it'd kind of ruin her bun. It has real little pockets as well. As for shoes, again, I had quite a variation of requests, but basically I noticed that lots of you just wanted like basic sneakers or vans or high tops, something around there. So I have these little, kind of like the classic white Barbie shoes. So we're not gonna lie here, these shoes are boring so i want to just add a little bit of detail to them to hopefully give them a little bit more personality and i'm basically just putting silver around the little pieces that the shoelaces go into what's that even called i don't even know what that's called but just to add a little bit more detail and i'm going to actually paint the shoelaces and i'm gonna paint them a pink color Time is now, place is here to rest. 
And then lastly, I'm just gonna take some black and color in one of the lines at the bottom. Yeah, I think those look really cool and I'm super happy with how they turned out. Now, no one really specifically recommended this, but I thought you'd look really cute with a little black purse. I just made this using some polymer clay and a chain. It's far from perfect, but I still think it'll look really cute with her outfit. I did see a suggestion for little bracelets, so I made these three little hoop bracelets that I'm going to place on her wrist. And lastly, I'm going to give her a miniature iPhone 12. I have a tutorial for how to make these on my channel. And I'm just going to place that in her hand with some sticky tack. And now we are officially done this doll makeover. I'm going to be honest, I absolutely love her. It will kind of break me to have to give her away, but I know whoever receives her will love her just as much as I do. Or at least, I really hope that they will. Speaking of giving this doll away, I'm going to now mention how to actually enter the giveaway to potentially win this doll yourself. So the first rule to enter is make sure you are subscribed and have post notifications turned on. Make sure to like this video. You must be 18 years or older or have parent permission to enter the giveaway. I also want to quickly mention this is an international giveaway so anyone can win from anywhere in the world and I will be covering all shipping costs just so you guys know. Make sure there is a way for me to contact you whether that's an Instagram or an email. You don't have to comment that down below just make sure you do have something in case you are the winner and we need to discuss details. And finally, once you've completed all of the steps, all that's left is to comment down below with the hashtag DD giveaway and you will officially be entered. Also, just want to mention any duplicate comments with the hashtag DD giveaway will not count. I want it to be 100% fair. I will be announcing the winner in my next video, so make sure you enter before then and I will be choosing the winner at complete random. So good luck to everyone who enters and I hope this doll goes to someone who loves her just as much as I do. Now before we end today's video, the shoutouts for today go to Melissa Arts, Crafty Twins, and Bailey Hurst. Thank you so so much for supporting my channel. And remember, if you want a chance of getting a shoutout, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel Click the notification bell and comment down below with the hashtag DDSquad and you'll have a chance getting a shout out in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Good luck to everyone who enters and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye! Take you there